Hi, welcome to my channel, Venusian Talking Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ch share my channel with your friends and family, please. Spread the word, spread the love. So we're going to jump right into this new moon reading for Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. New moon love reading, November 15, 2020. I just did a quick meditation before I shuffle the cards for the Aquarius Aquas. And I just pick up that you're just ready to move forward. You don't really give a fuck. Somebody's trying to hinder you, hold information or hold something back or keep something. Or, nigga, what? You not, or, bitch, what? You know how to. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Just a lot of drama and just weird petty shit going on with the Aquarius. Somebody just don't want you to be great. Aquas. Aqua. What's up? New moon and aqua. Let's talk my aquas. Thank you. Let's talk with my aquas. Let's talk with my aquas. Let's talk with my aquas. Ooh. They're like, did you feel me? <laughs> You're very close to achieving your goals. Expect powerful change. Meditate and contemplate. And step out of your comfort zone. So... Like I was saying, my meditation, somebody going to work through your fears. Somebody going to want you, somebody's projecting their fears upon you. Somebody going to want you to move forward, follow your dreams. Somebody's trying to hold you back by holding information from you. You're a North Node. Yeah, following your dreams, doing what you do. Trying to keep, like I was saying, trying to keep stuff from you. Step out of your comfort zone. They know that you want to do something different. Step out of your comfort zone, move forward. You're releasing negativity. You're moving through your fears. Because you know prosperity lies ahead if you make this move. And you know that, that all the answers you need are um, right there. You believe in the impossible. You believe in yourself. Wow. Aqua Aquarius, you are making your dreams come true. And then I didn't even touch the gift of tarot deck yet. But I just happened to see this nine of cups sitting on the bottom. You're making your dreams come true. And you ain't letting nobody stop you. Even though somebody may be trying to, you're not allowing it. You're moving forward. You're taking, you're taking charge of your life. And you're making shit happen just the way you want to make it happen. And you're very close to achieving your goals. Whatever you need to get rid of, you're doing that. You're working through your fears, your codependency, whatever it is that's keeping you stagnant. Or whoever is trying to keep you stagnant, you're working through that extra areas, and I'm proud of you. Keep going, okay? Don't give up. Don't stop. Don't none of that. Just keep going. Keep going here. That's what you put my aquas on this new moon, November 15, 2020. What's up? with the aquas what's up with the aquarius spirit let me know new moon in scorpio november 15 2020 aquas going after they dream is somebody trying to put them back withholding information lying keeping shit high shit. what are you doing what are you doing yeah what's up with the aquas show the aquas with the show the world with the aquas are made of Messages for my Oscar Aquarius on this new moon. There we go. That's it. All right. At the bottom of this soul lesson, perception, third eye. You know somebody doing some fucking shit. You know what's up. Soul lesson, surrender to the divine. I'm getting here. Soul lesson, clarity. Yeah, clarity. You know that somebody's trying to hold you back here. Ritual healing connection. Okay. And then we got change. Somebody don't want you to change. You're healing your heart. You're moving forward. You're realizing that something's no longer serving you, making you happy. Less of perception. You're seeing stuff for what it is. Third eye. 
and you're playing no more games with it. You're ready to move forward, Aqua, as you should. Messages from my Aqua Aries, November 15, 2020, New Moon and Scorpio. Yeah, you're realizing that things cannot continue to pray. You know you're close to achieving your goals. All you got to do is let go of a certain anchor that's holding you back, you feel? You're surrendering to the vine. You're surrendering to what it is you need to do. You're focused. You're ready for this challenge. You can be very mesmerized with somebody's eyes. They can be like a blue. Blue, grayish, green color. They can be big and beautiful. I see somebody with beautiful eyes here. Somebody loves somebody's eyes. It's so pretty. So pencil. Yeah. Somebody loves somebody's eyes here. Yeah, I'm hearing hair too. Even though I don't see hair here. I'm hearing eyes in here. Yeah. Somebody is like you're beautiful. Okay, Aqua. Let's keep going. What's the message from the romance angels? New love. November 15, 2020. For Aqua. For Aquarius. What's going on with the Aquarius new moon spirit? Give me some messages for the Aquarius. And this new moon is spoken. I'm just taking because they popped out. Let go of control issues. Yeah. We have pay attention to the red flags. Yes, yeah, somebody trying to hold you back. Forgiving the learning here. We have um, release your ex. Yeah. Soulmate. Past over past life relationship. Somebody's trying to keep you from moving forward here. Retreat. Deception. You deserve love and trust. I feel like you know that you need to move forward, that you deserve love. You don't deserve somebody trying to hold you back, somebody that don't believe in you. You are clearly and very much aware that somebody doesn't have your best interests at home. Um, somebody is not on the same page with you. You know, you... you you really argue with someone about here about situations. You you're seeing the red flags. You're understanding that this relationship no longer needs to move forward. But are you willing to make those adjustments? Is the question. Um, you need to surrender to the divine because you have a past life relationship with someone that's your soulmate. You're trying to grow yourself. You're trying to work on yourself, love yourself. A lot of people are loving themselves, celebrating life, realizing that this ain't the way shit needs to go. I need to be happy. I need to figure out what makes me happy, and it's not you. The person you're with or could be the other person. I'm not following my north node by staying in this relationship. I have to, I have to grow. I cannot stay stagnant. And I understand what we had and how long we had it for, but sometimes... Situations are not meant to last forever. And, you know, you, you understand from the other person's point of view, well, how can you leave me? We've been through this and that together. We've been through everything. Like, what are you talking about, you leaving? You know what I'm saying? But I, I just wish people would take a second to realize it's not so much about this person leaving. It's about soul growth. Like, we've come as far as we can go, and I know this hurts. I know it is sad. It hurts. But it's not meant to go any further, and I don't want to stay stagnant. I want to continue to grow, no matter how much it hurts. It won't change that I'll always have a love for you. I am just not in love with you anymore. I will always be there for you, the kids, whatever, but I have to go. I cannot continue to do this. I can't do this anymore. 
Just please let me go. I hear somebody saying, just please let me, just, just let me go. If you don't, I'm still going to retreat. I'm still not going to show you any kind of affection or love. I'm looking for a change. You can't give me that. I deserve love. I deserve to be with the person that I've been calling in that I feel makes me happy. Even if it don't turn out the way it should in the long run or whatever you think, I want to give it a chance because I love this person. I really let go of my, my, my control issues and really just go. I see shit for what it is and this ain't working. I see that this ain't for me. Somebody here has beautiful eyes that somebody is so mesmerized by. They think their eyes are just so gorgeous. Beautiful. They could be big and catty, but like a greenish bluish eyes, they think they're gorgeous. But yeah. It's just, it's just not going to work. All right, let's get messages from the last bit. The Guild of Tarot for my Aquarius. Messages from my Aquarius here on the new moon, November 15, 2020. Messages from my Aquarius. New moon and Scorpio. Messages from my Aquarius on this new moon in the messages from my Aquarius. Please. Thank you. Messages from my Aquarius. Yeah, three of swords. There's an ending here. Oh, there was a betrayal of the lies. Empress. Could be an ending to a marriage here. That a person stuck, stuck in. They're taking a new passion at the beginning with the King of Wands. They want to move on. Move to. It could be an ex, Six of Wands. That they want a gift to be here with. Yeah. They've been meditating on this, yeah. Yearning for the situation. People have been stopping them from making this decision. Telling them that this is the wrong decision to make. Nine of Cups, don't go towards your wish fulfillment judgment. Don't put the sound with this person. But this person is absolutely in love. And I'm moving forward regardless. They're moving forward toward the love of their life. Regardless, yeah, page of cups. It may be a little immature, but they're going. They're persevering and they're not giving up. They know this is a move that they need to make. The hermit, Knight of Pentacles, they took long enough to make a decision on this new love. They've been watching from afar, secretly, and they want to make this offer no matter how immature it is. The death, the world transformation. They could be worried about how to make this offer, or even if you will accept the offer, it could be you or your other person. Take it as it fits, Aquarius. Okay? But somebody is worried here about making a move forward, but they know they have to. They know that they've been immature. They could still be being immature. They could have been having a family, kids. Oh, just a bunch of shit. But they know that they need to make this move forward. Okay? And it's, it's nothing. I, I, I see this person like relentless. Like, no. It's what I'm doing and it's nobody that's going to stop me. People outside, people talking. People telling me that this ain't what I need to do. No, don't do that. Don't be stupid. No matter what a person says, they're coming for me. I don't know why I just had to pull a couple more cards. Oh, this card was sitting down there. Unrequited love. Yeah, there's unrequited love in this relationship and somebody not ready. Something told me to pull a couple more cards from the self love oracle for my Aquarius. What's the self love oracle for my Aquarius? A couple more cards, please. Thank you. A 
clearing. A couple more messages from our clearing. No more in the Scorpio. Okay. Aquarius says, with your astrology. Yeah, I am the light of my soul, third eye chakra. So, somebody is knowing their worth. And they know that they need to have a connection with somebody that they want to be with. They're moving toward. And they're not allowing nobody to stop them. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn because that was kind of like Capricorn's waiting. But you could be dealing with any sign. That's why I don't really put specifics on signs. But yeah, somebody moving forward. And at some point, somebody going to need to accept it. Somebody could be pregnant, hiding the pregnancy. You know, but they could be secretly pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Very fertile. So, you know, it is what it is. Oof. There's a lot going on with this situation. But God bless. Um, Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel. Show the love. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my channel out there. So share the love. Show the love. And make sure to manifest on this new moon. Your wishes, your intentions. And think positive. Um, There's nothing you can't get through with God. And I know that sounds cliche or whatever. But it's the truth. There's nothing you can't get through with the help of God. Keep him first and foremost, okay? I love you, my Aquarians. Hold it the fuck down and stay ten toes down. Until the next video, take care. Bye.